back y'all. So we lost our passports. We did, and it was awful. But more on that later. Boston right now, so we're getting ready to board in like 10 minutes, and then we're off to Paris. See you guys there. Delta One, getting ready to show you that right now. Hey, I see you hey. So far that we've encountered um, since arriving in Paris. Um, so number one is when you first arrive you need to figure out transportation and this is a big airport so it can be overwhelming at times so we were able to go ahead and figure out how to um, first you get on a, a, a what is it a bus and the bus will take you over to terminal one and terminal one has the platforms for the trains and um, so we were able to go ahead and get a picture um, for a pass called Navigo. Um, so I did a little bit of research before we got here and if you want to take a train from CDG which is Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris to the city center is 10 euros one way which is like 12 bucks. Um, so round trip is 20 euros um, but you can get the Navigo pass. I'll just put it right there. We'll put the, some more information in the description too. But um, the Navigo Pass is is on a weekly basis, about 22 euros. So that right there pays for itself if you're going to be going back and forth, um, you know, or even around the city because you also, if you don't get this, you have to pay for each individual ticket, which is usually about two euros um, within inner Paris. And then outside, like the outer zones, or even to get back to the airport, you get hit with the uh, 20 euro round trip. So, I mean, I figure it's, it's a good deal. It's good for 10 years. You just load it when on the weeks that you need it, and bam, you're good yeah. to go. So now we don't have to worry about anything. It works on the, the RER train to the airport, the uh, metros around the city, and uh, buses also. And I didn't know that it was good for 10 years, and I thought that was pretty cool because in that way you can already start planning your next trip so you can use your pass. So another thing that we encountered as well is as you guys all know, I work for an airline, and so I purchased our hotel room through um, a site that my um, airline offers. And we got here, arrived at the airport, or the hotel, and no room. So 
so we're just like frantically trying to figure out like what's going on because it wasn't just my room that was impacted it was my parents as well um so we got here around 9 a.m paris time and they said that i had to call the provider that or the site that i got the um hotel room from and they didn't open until 8 30 eastern time now mind you there's a long period of time where I'm able to give them a call. So I couldn't call them until 12, excuse me, 2.30 p.m. Paris time. Um, and then when I did give them a call, there was a long hold time for them, so they had to give me an automated call back. And while we were getting the call back, we were visiting a, a, par a church here in Paris and missed the call. So and all in all, it took, it's now what? It is five, it's about six o'clock Paris time now and we just now got another hotel room. So that's been our hassle for day one. Um, we're extremely exhausted, so we're just gonna go ahead and freshen up and then grab something for dinner. But um, stay tuned, because we're gonna have a whole bunch of different links and different topics that we'll discuss throughout the video. Um, and it's gonna be in a two part, because Paris is so big that we're just not gonna have enough time to actually put it in one without overwhelming you guys and making the video too long. So stay tuned. And we will be back. about 15, 15, 15 hours, hours or so, <laughs> but we made it. We couldn't wait to see the city, so uh, tired think, and all, we see it. I think we're gonna try to, um, might make our way to Sakura Kur, and then um, save the good stuff for tomorrow. Be back with y'all in a second. Church number one behind me, Sacre Coeur, and this is a view, Eiffel Tower somewhere in that direction, so uh, I guess we'll go see it tomorrow, and 
yeah we'll save that for tomorrow but just had to share this real quick So about the lost passports, <sighs> we uh, we actually moved. Um, we moved about a month ago. I never thought to actually look for our passports, even though we knew Paris was coming up. Mm -hmm. No idea why we didn't look. And we were supposed to go to Tokyo before Paris, but it fell through. But we still didn't look for our passports. I guess we're just used to always having them because we. Haven't really got to utilize them yet, so we figured they would just be in the same spot that we left them in. Mm -hmm. So the night before leaving for Paris, we were frantically searching for our passports because I'm like, Matt, I can't find the passports. So I'm looking everywhere. We're opening every box that we just set aside when we moved. Nothing. So then we decide to go to sleep, and I woke up maybe six in the morning. Decided to go look again. You know, fresh new mind or you know reset everything okay i'm gonna find my passport no passport so then now we're trying to make an appointment to make a um to get an expedited passport for same day pickup and hopefully we can still make a trip to paris so then i rushed to the um post office to get the passport form and something told me why don't you call our old apartment complex so i called them no one's answering, no one's answering. And this is the day after Easter, so in my mind I think, well, maybe they're still off for Easter. And I'm like, oh my gosh, our plane leaves tomorrow morning. We need passports, we're not gonna be able to go anywhere. And then, so I decided to drive over there. So I drive over there and I asked the manager and I said, hey, you know, we lived in an apartment such and such. Did we leave passports? And she was like, you know what? I think I saw some passports. And you cannot believe the relief that I had come over me. And so, um, she was like, okay, well, let me go and see if I have them. So she walked out and she comes back in and blue little books. You would never think that she would care about a passport so much as I cared about that passport right then and there because I knew I was going to be able to go to Paris. So lesson learned, we're buying a safe as soon as we get back from um, Paris. But Moral of the story, keep track of your stuff. Yes. Let's